uh, a replica or the equivalent of the factory um, RCD 360. So this was like the upgraded um, head unit that the cars would have came with that had, you know, the larger LCD screen, which supported, um, you know, CarPlay, but, uh, navigation, that sort of thing. So fairly light, you know, it's kind of like a, I'm pretty sure it's, these are like Chinese knockoffs of the originals. So that adapter plug, the adapter plugs in there after you pick this clip up and then you kind of put that down, I believe, and it cinches it in and it, it, it um, latches very nicely. Okay, so let's hop in. So we're just, let's begin the installation by pulling out the bottom part of the trip right by the passenger airbag light on this model. But depending on the model you perform this installation on, you may need to use a trim removal tool and start pulling it back on the side or top. Now on 2011, the next steps apply for all vehicles. You need a drill, ratchet, or screwdriver with a Torx T20 bit. There are four Torx T20 screws. In this case, I'm going to use a drill. Here is what one of the screws look like. Now let's speed through the rest. Since these are the only screws that we will be removing, let's put them in the cup holder so we don't lose them. Now the old radio should easily slide out like this. The back side of my unit has a quad lock, a dual antenna, and a satellite radio connector. Some units will have a navigation connector, and some won't have a satellite radio connector. You will want to remove all of the connectors. For the quad lock, press down and pull it back like this, and it will come right out. For the other connectors, just push on this little tab and finagle it out like this. Now you can put the old radio to the side. Now let's bring in the new radio. This radio does not have satellite or digital radio or navigation, as I said earlier. However, you can do both of these through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto nowadays. And better too, especially with Google Maps. Connect the dual to single antenna adapter to the dual antenna and then connect it to the radio. Now let's plug back in the quad block connector. Click it in like this and make sure it's in all the way. You could have issues if it's not connected all the way. Before you put the screws back in, make sure the unit turns on and works. Now let's put the screws back in and the trim piece can clip right on. Make sure not to break it though. So that's the installation. So here's the car started. Um, I did plug in my phone with the USB because that's a requirement for Apple CarPlay. Um, but but that's pretty typical of most OEM installs, if not you know, just about all of them. Um, so I'm gonna power up and it paired with my phone because I have it plugged in. So there's music from my phone, which I'm not gonna play because I don't wanna violate any YouTube uh, copyright infringement, but you can see Waze has shown up, my music, my telephone, there's Waze. Um, so it's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. This particular unit, uh, I, I, like I said, I purchased on Amazon. The link will be in the description below. There are newer or, or more feature rich units now as well, um, that have more, more buttons and stuff on the side. Um, but this is, this is what works for me. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, below and I would really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel so I could continue to create content like this where it's kind of like practical easy stuff and then you know stupid stuff with some of my crazy projects um, other than that thank you very much